description here. I'll push it. I'll push it. Wheel. Push it real good. Push it. Do -do 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 -do. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. Get the heist, Fuzzy, the Sith. We're going to take a look at a beer that was sent to us by Ryan, I think. Yep. Now, which pack was this in? Still in the Oktoberfest. Still in the Oktoberfest. Still in Oktoberfest. Max Oktoberfest! Those all natural brewing from Bankley Kill, Ontario. We're going to take a look at the Koru, Belgian Pale Ale, which is apparently spicy somehow. Yeah, Belgian Koru Belgian Pale Ale boasts interesting spicy, peppery, yeasty notes with tropical fruit inflections from New Zealand, Nelson Sovin, oh, and Rocky No, Pops. not yet, not yet. <laughs> not that yet. Uh, it's going to be really quick in the night. Nice. So local spring water, organic barley wheat, and malts, organic crops, yeah. and brewers yeast. You have to pull it this crazy we got lots more beer left to go. Uh, yeah, it, looks, it looks like a 70s type label on the front. Fiddleheads, actually. Yeah, yeah it, it looks, looks like a 70s label. Damn. It's really weird. Get the porn I wonder if this still has uh, some bog myrtle in there or something. Oh, oh, go is there bog myrtle in this? I'm just, well, just check the ingredients. It's a beer. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole beer. Organic burning, weight and loss, organic pops and burgers. It doesn't say anything with bog myrtle. No, no, it just kind of looks like bog myrtle. Mm -hmm. Could be. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, this is number 25 in the Wild Oats series, and yet again, it's another beer that doesn't actually include wild oats, but we've had this argument on the Dark Helmet review. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the same. Let's get to the beer. Pop it open. Pop in the top. And you may pour first, because it's uh, technically your beer. Ooh. And he's not being asked you this, uh, this time. <laughs> Ooh, looks light. I put mine away. I put mine away. Do you want me to put that away? Yep. To where it doesn't belong? Because <laughs> that'll happen. <laughs> so I don't want to wear it near the nether, my nether yet. Yeah. Every time you fire, it'll come out. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Maxi. Maxi. Oh, yeah, I get the drags. Draggers. Drags. Oh, that almost hit your. Oh, no, that's. that's a... That's a glass of beer. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> holy, unfiltered. Damn. That's like thick honey. That's got a nice, it does look a lot like honey, doesn't it, for color wise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And a nice bright of floaties. It's a, it's a slight, like, like eggshell white kind of head to it, but it's very creamy looking. Yep. Oily. Wow. Look at how oily that head is. Yeah. yeah. It's really sticky. Oh, wow. Look at how sticky that thing is, too. That's what she said. <laughs> Sticky white spray. Are you stealing Max's beer? That looks like yeah. like whipped orange juice or like an orange Julius or something like that. How's what it? kind of no, orange no. Julius do you get? No, no. But did you look at mine? Do I know what orange Julius looks like? And guess did what? You, did it, you see how unfiltered my beer is? It doesn't look like it has that much head. No. Just... Maybe I just want an orange Julius. And you have a booger hanging in your nose. <laughs> All right, moving right along. So, looks really nice. Let's give it a sniff. Mostly citrus. Yeah, lots of citrus, peppery. It smells like a Euro lager almost. Yeah, I was mm. gonna say, it smells like a lager to me. It smells like a little bit of tropical. Almost sounds smells like a Caribbean lager or something. No, let's say things. Let's not say okay. things we can't take back. <laughs> I'm I'm going in that I'm going in that direction where it's got that kind of like that gentle, slightly fruity, peppery hop smell. White pepper. All right. Yeah, white pepper. That's perfect. All right, I can pair this with an orange. But it's also kind of faint, too. I can pair this with orange. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes down the yeah. head. Mm. 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 Oh, no. What's the EBV of this? That's six. There's a nice citrusy taste that lingers in there. Yeah, but it's quite bitter in the finish. <laughs> bitter quite bitter in the finish. It almost <clears throat> comes like a, like a peppery grapefruit kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, did not expect that. It's definitely got like a like a, a clear pilsner, almost like a hint of like a hint of almost like an IPA. It's got almost that, like, like I would call it IPA. It's very light for that. It, yeah, it's, it, 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 some of the blended Belgian IPA styles we've had are similar to this. I don't think it's quite aggressive enough to be quite in no. that category, but it's it's edging toward it. Yeah, it's 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 almost like it's. I don't know. Like I'm getting that almost piney flavor just at the very end, just mm. for like a brief mm. moment, where yes. it's like, I got this, but I'm not gonna stick. It. Yeah, because I've got like citrus, white Belgian yeah. ale up front, yeah. and then exactly, just it's like just, <laughs> like surgical precision strike hops at the finish. Yeah. <laughs> getting shocking all with all that shit. 
Like smack bomb hops. Oh, right in the end of your tongue, right when you're done. But yeah. otherwise, otherwise, otherwise the beer comes off as nice, light, and refreshing. And that is very refreshing. That is that's coming off. It almost reminds me of something I've had before. But not another Bel- beer? not Belgian. Yeah, another beer, but I can't really place it. Of the two hundred or the five hundred and five beers. Yeah, I can't I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> you know, that's how bad it is. <laughs> Perhaps you'll think of it later. That's mm. what banners are for. It, it's really nice, though. I look like that gentle. It, it does, the hot bite does grow the more you drink it. Yeah, it does. It's obviously still fresh. Mm. And probably could have aged a little. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah. I uh, we'll get to these ones soon. Yeah, sure. It's good. I'd drink it again. Well, it'd, it'd be a nice, refreshing beer to drink. I mean, that, that big hot bite almost makes it a little thicker in the back of the palate though. So it, it might curb its ability to be like you drink several, but come on, are you actually gonna drink several of these? I can drink two or three. Hmm. Like if you're going on a that night out good, that would be a good night. Yeah, a night out would be two or three of those. But it wouldn't be like Budweiser where you drink like six or more. No, no, no. Because they're water basically. Uh I'm thinking three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. I was gonna give it three and a half. Oh that's fair. That's it? I'm gonna give this one three two. Three? Yeah. So three or three two? Three. Three. Three also. Okay. Also. Three. Three as well. So like the you're last saying one. three also, but nobody else gave it three. Well, he means my last one. Okay, cool. You that one uh, two also. Two point seven five. Two point seven five, so he didn't absolutely hate it. That was a was big hot finish like that, that's surprising. It mm-hmm. uh it really it really um like the big citrusy beginning brought it up and then the hoppy at the end brought it down. Mm. Well, with that combined with the smell, I'm going to give it a 275. Fair enough. All right, so some mixed opinions on this one. Definitely yep. worth a look if you can get your hands on some. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're around good. a campfire, three three of these would be fine. Like, winter, yeah. win, like, fall bonfire, this yeah. would be fit. Yeah. Yep. yep. Fall definitely bonfire, right, but definitely a really nice enjoyment here. Winter fire? No. No. Fall it needs to be heavier nice. for a winter. Winter yeah. fire. Fall fire, like, say when like, you're closing your camp or something. Yeah. 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 That'd be a, a good beer for that. Yep. Thanksgiving weekend. Mm. Well, anyway, anyway, well, it was made for Oktoberfest, so like harvest season. Yeah, yeah that's true. Gross. All right, cool. So that's All really right. nice. Um, definitely seek it out if it happens to come your way again. Probably won't be for a while yet. So thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Talk to you later. Cheers. Cheers.